Looking at a Sylvanian LC32 1SS9 uh, television. It's uh, LCD and it appears to be dead. So I'm going to do some uh, checks inside. Okay, this is a basic layout of the uh, television. So you've got the uh, the main power supply here and here. Then you've got the uh, the power for the backlight cold cathodes here and then all the input circuitry and the T-con and I'm going to do some basic tests now okay I found that uh, looks like that D633 is short circuit so I'm going to uh, take it out of circuit and check it again Okay, let's test this down without a circuit. Yep. Uh, looks like it's short circuit. And the zener next to it is okay. Check this uh, other diode here. Oh, that's alright. So it looks like just that uh, diode at the moment. Probably a barrier uh, rectifier diode. So it is in fact a barrier diode. Uh, looks like it's rated at about 100 volts and 2 amps. So the SP2A0, uh, 100 volts and 2 amps. So I think I have an equivalent to that so I can install and try. So in amongst my parts I found some barrier diodes. Um, these are uh, SB5100 and uh, they're higher rated but uh, they should work fine. So I've replaced the uh, D633 with a um, SB5100. So to give you a bit more background information, uh, it hadn't blown the fuse there was no standby light and um, uh, it wouldn't power on by the uh, power switch on the side and there didn't appear to be any short in the main power unit and so I checked all the diodes in the bridge rectifier they were fine um, checked there was no short on the switching FET which that was fine I then came over to this power board, or this part of the uh, power section and went through checking just basic tests on this FET and around that area I couldn't find any major shorts. Checked each one of these diodes and all these diodes tested OK except for this one which was that uh, D633. Uh, which was short circuit So everything's back together now, so it's time to give it a test Well, that's a good start now. I have a standby light which uh, I didn't have before So Let's press the uh, the power on and see what happens Yep, looks like everything's working again So it was just the uh, just that barrier diode had gone short circuit, and just to show you again which it was, <coughs> it was that diode right there, right there, which was D. Six three three. So checking the resistance of that diode, it's uh, you can see it's uh, only point two of an ohm, and that's uh, going to be the lead resistance, and not even the diode resistance. So the diode shorted, and I'll reverse the uh, clip so you can see it the other way too. So that's with the uh, clips reversed. And for those of you that like to use continuity 
or even diode test. Uh, it's the diode test and you can see it's showing zero volts, so it's showing short circuit. And continuity, also short. So basically a 10 cent part that uh, has fixed the television. It all seems to be working okay now.